Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our engine opening series and it's the start of a series on Stockfish's opening repertoire. We've already covered Komodo Dragon and Koi Visto in uh, this series. Well, now it's time for the really big one for Stockfish. This video is a survey of uh, Stockfish's repertoire, just looking at uh, what Stockfish plays against e4, d4, c4 and knight f3. In subsequent videos, we dive into the details and there are a lot of surprising things uh, in Stockfish's opening repertoire. A couple where I just fell off my chair, I have to say. So, uh, well, hope uh, you're going to enjoy this journey together. So what is Stockfish's favourite opening move? Well, it's 1e4, best by test, as Bobby Fischer used to say. Um, what is uh, uh, Stockfish's opinion of best play from the starting position? I'm afraid it's the old Berlin again. Knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, knight f6, castles, knight takes e4, rook e1. And uh, yeah, I think if you've uh, seen the, the previous two video series on Komodo Dragon and Koi Visto, well, you'll sort of... Uh, find this one eerily familiar. It is quite amazing in actual fact that uh, all the engines essentially see this line as the uh, best play for white and black. And uh, it's a slight advantage for white. Um, this knight on the ace is a little misplaced. This bishop's a little bit weird pointing at uh, the pawn on d4, which is well protected by the pawn on c3. But of course, uh, a rook and a minor piece have been exchanged. The position is symmetrical. Well, it doesn't have a huge lead in development, so yeah you know it's um um certainly in an uh, in an engine game it's not going to lead to uh uh 20 victories and to be honest also what you'd expect in an elite human game um yeah i mean various things have been tried uh bishop d3 was uh koi visto's line like komodo dragon uh stockfish wins once knight d2 but it's nothing um amazing can have a look at the variations in the uh in the pgn but uh, there's nothing much new to discover here um, it's a bit of a shame, really, because uh, just in the um, uh, in the early stages of its analysis, at least uh, Stockfish was looking for uh, Castle's knight e4, d4, and playing this uh, this ending, but that doesn't stay, and it soon switches to this symmetrical line. So, what about one d4? Well, one d4 is a, a bit of a sense of déjà vu, really, because uh, actually, what uh, Stockfish thinks is best is the ragazin. And, um, well, actually, Stockfish's main line follows uh, loads of games that were played between uh, Stockfish 8 and Alpha Zero uh, back in 2018. I mean, it is quite amazing that, uh, you know, Alpha Zero's uh, main choices were the, um, uh, the Berlin against 1E4 and the Ragazin against 1D4. And, uh, well, I mean, modern engines generally you know have the same uh, um, idea as well yeah i mean this is a um um an, a position that uh, that uh, uh, stockfish 8 and alpha 0 fought out many times um all ending in draws basically uh, we're still following uh, uh, stockfish stockfish uh, stockfish's analysis and also uh, stockfish 8 alpha 0 games rook a5 was what uh, alpha 0 played um a5 bishop d3 rook c8 is what Stockfish wants, but the uh, the result is the same. It's uh, just a draw. Indeed, there was um, uh, quite a high level game here, Schwitz against uh, uh, Caruana Riga 2021, that also uh, uh, continued in this way. So um, yeah, r really, you know, in terms of a super solid opening repertoire, I think uh, one e4 the Berlin and one d4 the Ragazin. Um, it's uh, yeah, I mean that's uh, a really very hard uh, opening repertoire to beat. Um, against c4, things were a little bit sharper. All the engines always want to play e5. Um, why is that? Well, probably, you know, 1 e4 c5 is not uh, considered to be black's best move by uh, most of the engines. So, yeah, if white plays uh, 1 c4, why not play 1 e5 with the reverse Sicilian? Um, Stockfish's uh, play is a little bit different. Um, this is quite uh, normal so far, but here uh, most engines are playing uh, plans with c6 in actual fact, and uh, Stockfish prefers knight c6. Um, knight c3 castles, a3, a5, e3, d6, knight e2, and knight e7. So you're going to play c6, but you're going to move the knight from c6 over to, uh, to g6 first. Um, yeah, actually, I, I've played these lines, never really enjoyed them with black. I always was uh, a bit worried that my bishop on a7 was going to get uh, shut out of the game. 
but um, stockfish sees uh, no problems and uh, indeed plays quite um, quite sharply here. Rook b1, bishop d7, and then we get some um, some kind of uh, sharp sort of uh, liquidation here. But uh, eventually, all the pieces get uh, exchanged. Pawn on c4 for the pawn on uh, on e4. The pawn on b7 goes as well. Um, so um, yeah, slightly different system there from uh, from Stockfish. Uh, not trying to block out the bishop with c6, just playing knight c6. But um, yeah, the result is uh, is fairly even as well. And then the last uh, uh, opening in this overview, knight f3, uh, d5. I was expecting um, Stockfish just to transpose with d4. That's what most, most engines do. But strange enough, uh, the main line that it considered was g3. And then um, an interesting continuation, g6. And uh, this is the uh, the line that um, Vichy Anand uh, played against Magnus Carlsen, the first game of their first World Championship match all those years ago. Um, and um, uh, it's a very solid opening. I mean, basically, you're just aiming to gain control of the center with bishop g7 and e5. And if you stop this, um, well, then you're into, uh, um, well, a rather boring uh, uh, g3 Grunfeld. And... Um, yeah, I mean, uh, there were many Karpov-Kasparov matches where White tried to uh, to make something of it, but nowadays it's really thought to be pretty much nothing. And, well, you know, you can see this. Uh, Bishop c6 was played in the game. Yomolinsky almashi uh, This is uh, Queen e7. And b5 from uh, from Stockfish. Knight b1, rook fc8. As you can see, the, the position is pretty even. So definitely an interesting line to uh, to look at. Definitely if you're, uh, if you're a Grunfeld player. You know, it's... Uh, um, looks like um, a, a pretty solid line against uh, knight f3 and 2g3. So that is the uh, the basic overview. Nothing uh, too stunning there, just a few little tweaks here and there. Um, but uh, now we're going to head off into 1e4 territory. And there's a lot of interesting stuff there. <laughs> 